What is going down, my YouTube family? It is your boy Zary from the XMG coming at you today to bring you a new legendary event we have coming in 15 days. I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna talk about what we need. What I'm gonna do. Some theory crafting with the character. But before we jump into that, if you are not part of the XMG family, click that subscribe button. Don't miss out on good stuff coming your way. If you are part of the XMG family, make sure you're turning on your notifications, liking videos, commenting, all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's get into the Curse of More Doom. So right now, we currently have 15 days, 13 hours for the Curse of More Doom. Now More Doom is a pretty interesting character, and we're going to get into that in a little bit. But... He is a 330 shard unlock, so 7 stars. We need humans. So, everyone's pretty much got a pretty developed human team. So that's huge. So we are currently on my personal account. Not on the test server, we're on boss there here. Um, so yeah. Let's take a look at the humans and see what we got. So right now, currently, I have Solius Gear 11, Cruel Gear 11. Little Baddie, I believe, is Gear 10. One piece away from Gear 11. All abilities at 6. Then I have Freezard, one piece away from Gear 11. But his abilities require some attention, so we'll cap this one off right here. Work on some abilities while I got you guys there. Okay, now it comes down to what am I going to do for the fifth one? And we got some options. We have Eric Shieldbreaker, we have Snorri, we have Darien, we have Robin Bad. Now Snorri could be a popular option for sure. I mean, he's a damage dealing beast. He has some pretty good passive abilities, especially paired with a Freezard, so that's really nice. But I am not going to use Snorri. I'm not going to use Darien or Robin Bad. Even though Darien does have some interesting takes to him. You know, um, one of them is he gains dodge increase. Which could help your survivability. He's removing a couple of his buffs. And then he does have a move. Is it his basic? Yeah, He does have a move in his basic where he does more physical damage against an orc, but it's not his basic, so could be interesting, especially for the double tank aspect of it, the double defender aspect of it, but I, I'm going to lean towards Eric Shieldbreaker on this, and here's why. One, he does pretty good move on his basic and he penetrates shields. So, you know, that helps. Then we have the Colossic Strike. You know, deals 30% more damage against shields. And then gains a damage increase for two turns. But then he has the Rousing Cry, which gives you the debuff immunity. Which is pretty, pretty solid, depending on who we're going to fight. So if I have time, I might have him and Snorri ready to go. Now, more Doom can dispel debuffs. Or dispel buffs on his basic. So debuff immunity might not be what it's cracked up to be, but it could definitely help your team out quite a bit. And then his passive is just, he gets physical damage for each living human in the party, so that's that's pretty damn solid. But that that's kind of the way I'm going to go, is I'm going to have my Solius lead, Cruel, Little Baddie, Freezard, and Eric Shieldbreaker. And if I have time, I'll try to get Snorri up and work on him also. Putting my demons to the back burner for sure. I was working on that team. Getting them ready to go for Murdoch. But now that is on the back burner. Because I think I got a good shot at doing this. Going back into the event. I mean to unlock this character. It is recommending 7 stars. Hero level 80. Ability level 6. Gear level 11. And rune 16. Now, popping up on your screen now is the test server chat, and there is confirmation from Emerald Dragon that this is going to be the hardest 
event we have faced. So, is anything under gear level 11, 7 star, gonna cut it? We don't know. We, we have no idea what we're gonna face. And we are not able to test this on the test server yet. So I don't even know kind of what we're fighting. And to prove that here, we're just going to jump right over to the test server. So here we are, test server. We are going to go into events here. And you see, we still have 15 days and 13 hours. We can't do anything with it. So we don't know what's coming. All we know is it's going to be hella hard and very crazy to do. Now let's take a look at more Doom himself. We're gonna we're gonna do that on the test server. Okay, so we have more Doom. Obviously, Orc Fighter, Mage, Dragon Slayer. And he's got some pretty interesting move kits. So, we, you know, his basic at level six deals 260 magic damage to an enemy and removes two debuffs or two buffs. Sorry. So what are we looking at here? We are looking at. A dispel on his basic doing 260 magic damage that's pretty damn solid really can't go wrong with a dispel on your basic so that's really nice now his magic and monsters he summons two demon henchmen with 50 percent of more doom's health and 80 percent of his damage there's two different types and the only reason i know this is because you can clone him with cruel and play with him so if you can get to the last stage of the Dawn of Order, you can essentially clone more Doom and use his abilities and kind of play around with him with Cruel. Um, and he has two different henchmen, as, as I was saying. And as you can see, there is a red one who is a damage and green who is healing. So that'll kind of work into his passive, which we'll see here in a minute. Then his Rock's Curse is just ungodly OP. 400% magic damage. Inflicts an armor decrease, tenacity decrease, slow, damage decrease, potency decrease, and an ability block for three turns. I, I don't understand how that's a move. Yeah, that's huge. His passive ability gains... 10% tenacity, 10% potency for each living demon in the party. Now, we do have confirmation that his magic and monsters move does count towards that synergy. So if he drops that first, he's getting 10% potency per henchman. And at level 6, he's dropping 2. So that can kind of amp up. And on a 3-turn cooldown, you can kind of get that going. But this kind of leads me into the next thing is I got some ideas for some teams and I believe that more doom is going to have to be run in a hybrid team dominated mostly by orcs, but you're going to want at least one in that party. So let's kind of take a look at that right now. Obviously, we're going to leave a spot for more doom open, but we're going to start with our orcs here and we are definitely putting Zira in the lead. So potency and maximum health of all allied orcs increased by 20. Now we saw that more doom is definitely heavy on buffs or debuffs and dispels. So he's going to need that potency, which is huge. And then at the start of the all at the battle, all enemies receive a tenacity decrease, armor decrease, damage decrease, and buff immunity for one turn. So that's definitely going to help more doom get going. And you're not going to have to worry about dispelling a tank on his basic or anything like that. And then, obviously, we're going to say we leave a spot for more Doom, which is going to be Rantha. Rantha right now is currently probably, if in my testing, I ran her, and it just didn't seem to be oomph there. So, Rantha is going to be the placeholder for more Doom. Obviously, we're going to run Hard Orc. In this combination and then we, we want Tromgar so 
let's take a look at the demons. So looking at our demons, there's actually three demons that I feel that I, I really want to play around with that could benefit team as a whole. And obviously, the first one here is Kyra. She puts the go dark on everybody, puts everybody under stealth, gives Tromgar even more retaliation. Just all in all, a, a huge plus. The next one, Xantera. The team doesn't have any heals besides really pa like passive healing. You know, um, Tromgar can put it on with his third move, gives him a uh, heal over time. Hard Orc can put heal over time on, but that's really about it. So a dedicated healer to the team could definitely help increase the viability. Now, more Doom Green Demon is a healer, but the heals just aren't as massive as a Xantara, so would survivability might be an issue. Xantara could be huge. And then the third one, if you have him, is Shadar. Now, Shadar, I think, could be the quiet choice here. And let's let's take a look at that real quick. So we're looking at Shadar's move kit. Now his basic ability inflicts an armor decrease for two turns on his basic. 260, not bad. Has a stun, 460 magic damage, and stuns the target for one turn. That's huge. His earth armor gains armor increase, debuff immunity for two turns, and then he restores 50% of all turn meter, of turn meter to all allies. Giving Hard Orc more turn meter, giving more Doom more turn meter, giving Zira more turn meter. Definitely could be huge in that comp, possibly. And then his passive ability increases magic damage by 10% for each living demon in the party. So you're benefiting from himself. More Doom is benefiting from Shadar. Then when Shadar drops, or then, I'm sorry, when More Doom drops those two demons over and over again, he is getting some serious damage built up. So I definitely think he could be, if you have him, could be a solid choice. And, you know, and then just quickly looking over the other two, like we talked, we have a Xantara passive ability. You're restoring cooldowns. So that could be huge for Doom to drop those demons again if it lands. But again, depending on how that team plays out, her primarily role would be the healer and increase survivability. And then obviously Kira, passive ability. She does more attack damage when she's invisible. So Go Dark is really only benefiting her, but she does have the ability block on her basic 50% clip, but definitely could be could be bigger. You know, um, but she could be an option and people do have her ramped up. So that is the team right here. This is the team I'm, I'm very interested to play around with once we are able to. Obviously, Rantha is the placeholder for more Doom. I mean, we're checking the boxes here. We have massive debuffs. We have stun, taunt counter chance more doom would be the dispel summon a healer we have cheat death we have increased damage we have cooldowns being restored and then we have shadar feeding turn meter with a stun i really think this team could be something to to to, to play around with but that's what I got for everybody, you know, as far as more Doom. Now, I definitely think I have a shot to do it. I definitely think I got a shot to do it. I'm pretty close, and everybody should have a... Who's, you know, Ender Game is going to have a well-developed human team already. So, that could be big. You know, I got some work to do on Eric Shieldbreaker and potentially Snorri. I'm only one piece away from Little Betty and Freezard, so that'll be my top priority. And, you know, getting their abilities up. So, that's where I stand. Let me know what you guys think about more Doom. Am I off on possibly putting in a Shadar or a Kira? So, let me know what everybody thinks. Really cool. 
really fun character coming our way and as we learn more i'll get it out to you guys but that's what i got for everybody today just wanted to say i love you all thank you for the support really really overwhelmed people still commenting after the giveaway so just wanted to say thanks it does mean a lot to me i love you all see you in the next one i'm out